everyone, it's Loomer. I'm here at E3 2018 and talking with the always wonderful Patrice Desilet, uh, creative director on Prince of Persia Sands of Time, Assassin's Creed 1, 2, Brotherhood, basically father of the franchise, and now working at uh, Panache Digital Games and Ancestors of Humankind Odyssey. How's your E3 going so far? Well, it, j it just started, yeah. <laughs> like roughly an hour ago. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's, I think it's going to be a good year. Yeah. It's just a bit too hot for my taste. That's it. Yeah, definite change from Montreal. Um, so this year, uh, for Ancestors, you're, uh, you're just going around showing kind of private video, one-on-one -on -one videos, I guess. So no, nothing at the conferences, nothing on the show floor, but uh, things are approaching in a kind of a pre-alpha state. Is that right? Kind of a good... Yeah, exactly. Uh, I wanted to have something to show people, just to, to, to show that the game actually exists yes. <laughs> and it's in a playable form. And, uh, uh, and, but during this show, it's all about being bigger and bigger and bigger on the big screen, on the big stage. I said, well, what if we do it a bit differently? And so it's, it's a one-on-one -on -one thing. I got it on, on the phone, and so it's the smallest screen I can have. And, and so can, and people can actually uh, uh, experience it for themselves. And also to have a, a special moment, yeah. right? Like this, this idea of like we can discuss it afterwards. And uh, so I wanted to make it, uh, it different. So and you had the chance to to see some of those videos I got with me. Yeah, absolutely. We just watched a couple of clips. They were really cool. Um, we'll come back to ancestors and the footage later. Uh, I thought um, for this interview, you know, we last talked a few years ago in 2015. A uh, bunch of things have happened since then. So I thought we could catch up on both Panache, Ancestors, uh, 1666, and then also a few recent like Assassin's Creed things. I know you're not super involved with it lately, but <laughs> to say the, say the least. But since this is an Assassin's Creed channel, I thought I'd lead off with just a couple questions on yeah, some yeah. recent stuff. Um, and I was wondering if you had seen the Assassin's Creed movie. Yes, I've seen the Assassin's Creed movie uh, on a plane. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Again, on the smallest screen possible. <laughs> I guess. I guess so. It's my thing these yeah. days. <laughs> yeah. oh, well, so, what did you think about it um, in terms of, I guess, just as a movie itself, and then I guess with respect to the world that you helped create all like 10, 11 years ago? Well, as a movie itself, uh, I felt like there was some portion that were good, but it was a bit messy. Uh, for Assassin's Creed, I think they all the the box were checked. Uh, but what I actually, and I think I said it before, but it, there's one thing that I was kind of like, ah, I wish I've thought of that, was their animus, yeah. the animus where you can actually, you know, go in space in 3D world, like like in this portion I really like. Yeah, and I think some fans are kind of like, oh, what have they done to the Animus? But others, including me, were like, oh, that's actually pretty cool. And it makes a little more sense than the uh, sense of like uh, the bleeding effect um, that uh, your muscles are actually getting worked out instead of just laying in a chair. So it makes a little more sense to acquire these like a super like assassin uh, agility and abilities and uh, muscle memory like it's you're totally right yeah. and, and and like i when i saw it i said oh, i wish i would have thought of that but uh, <laughs> it, it took uh, almost 10 years before somebody had the yeah. this is how we should do an anime so yeah. kudos to them awesome yeah so we had the release of assassin's creed origins last year of course and assassin's creed odyssey was released this year i don't know how much you've been following the developments on that but they've been adding a lot of rpg elements and it's been kind of dividing the fan base a bit. So, for example, um, they've removed social stealth uh, from the equation completely. Um, and uh, with Odyssey, they're introducing multiple endings in uh, narrative dialogue where you can profoundly affect the narrative uh, in many ways. And I'm curious, there's a lot of debate amongst the fans right now about whether it's even considered an Assassin's Creed game. There's a lot of debate about what constitutes an Assassin's Creed game because it's also set 400 years before the formation of the Proto-Brotherhood. Um, so you don't even have Assassins and Templars. And so I'm curious what you think about these changes and um, maybe... I'm curious to get your opinion on what makes an Assassin's Creed game. Like, what are the fundamentals that you think would always be there, like, if you had continued working on the franchise for all 11 years? Well, I... 
well, <laughs> it's a it's a long. Uh, the, the answer could be really long. Yeah. We could actually explain what is Assassin's Creed, but for me, it's been ten years now, almost, huh? Yeah. Since my last uh, Assassin. Well, it's it's funny that you mentioned there's no more Assassins and Templars because that's basically the, for me, was the core. Mm. That was that 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 struggle that. Like the two organizations more so than their philosophies, yes. you mean? Both. Both. Okay. So I, I guess they and honestly, I haven't played any Assassin's Creed game yeah. since I played the third one for two hours, and then I realized I had no fun playing them. Yeah. And maybe I told you uh, back then. It's yeah, yeah. and it's it's not. It? it wasn't because of the quality of it. It's just because I was. It was my baby, and it, uh, I was a creative director, and then suddenly I couldn't do anything. So it was like, uh, I cannot. I'm working. I'm not having fun, so uh, so I haven't been following that much. I, but I know fans are debating all of this. Uh, is it an Assassin's Creed game where when there's no hidden blade? Yeah, they also don't have the hidden blade. Yeah, yeah. no hoodie. Yeah. So well, they have hoodies. Well, they have hoods, but it's uh, <laughs> kind of just a token. Like, oh yeah, you can throw on some hoods. <laughs> but, but but at the same oh, yeah. time, they personally they can do what they want with it right now, yeah. right? Like <laughs> honestly, there's it's not it's, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> and, and, no, but so yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's not what I meant at all. I, like, but I'm just curious, like uh, uh, like for example, what do you do you think um, like so one of the problems that some of the fans, including myself, have with multiple endings and narrative choices that kind of ruins this idea that you're experiencing history as it happened, right? Yeah. And so do you think from that... What, from what I'm hearing, I feel like there's a lot of buzzword, <laughs> right? Say, so, oh, a game now needs to have A, B, C, D, yeah. otherwise it's not really going to be fun. And that's a shame if that's the, the, the way they're going. But then again, it's their game. They can do what they want with it, and and, yeah. and you fans decide if you want to play them or continue following this this franchise or not. Yeah. But but again, for me, it's really it's really touchy to talk about it because yeah. first, it's been a long time. I've done what I had to do yeah. when I was there, yeah. and afterwards, I mean, it's, it's, that's it. <laughs> and, 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 and whoa, that was loud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and frankly is like I don't I don't want to be part of the debate okay. right because I feel like I, I cannot be part of the debate if I wanted to be part of it I would have stayed there yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then we could have this discussion about my choices okay totally fair so let me know if this falls into getting into the debate but I had okay. one more question oh, of oh. just what um, what would be like your one time period slash setting or location that you would have really loved to do that like you never got a chance to do or that you had in your mind for Assassin's Creed? Oh, I, it, it was Assassin's Creed 3. The, the, the colonization of America was a thing that I wanted to do. And so I had, since I left before I could actually work on it, so I can say I, I didn't do it. I see. But that was... Uh, uh, otherwise, maybe maybe the Incas would have been great. Also, yeah. uh, you know Machu Picchu, those yeah. places, and so uh, those are Incas, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't want yeah. to miss. They, they did a really brief uh, exploration of the Incan civilization in the comics, okay. where they have moved a lot of the stories, including Juno's story. Surprisingly, yeah. I don't know if you heard about that, but. <laughs> um, but it was like really brief. But and, and then I was about to say uh, prehistoric, uh, <laughs> but I'm doing it. So yeah. <laughs> without the Assassin's Creed uh, franchise on top of. Awesome. All right. So why don't we talk? Uh, move on. Speaking of prehistoric, uh, kind of yeah. Assassin's Creed esque, and even at least from the footage I saw, in some ways, anyway. Um, so Ancestors has changed since we last talked three years ago. Um, it is now no longer episodic at all. No longer episodic. Yes. That's really important. No longer episodic. <laughs> it's an actual open world, 40 plus hours worth of, of, oh, wow. of, of content. Uh, and we have a publisher that, that's one of the reasons why we say, oh, you know what, we don't have to go episodic. We're okay. We have the, uh, the resources to actually yeah. build an entire game for you to play uh, uh, right away instead of having to go through episode. And uh, and so we pivot a little bit also the game because of it. 
we made it like not only bigger but more uh, open-ended okay. I would say uh, now it's really the experience of every gamers that are really the thing it's not about going through what we decided for you so the yeah. narrative we really will and is written by the person behind the, the gamepad yeah. so every experiences are different that, that's why actually these days I'm still enjoying playing ancestors every day mm -hmm. is that each time I play I tell myself a different story okay. and I explore that 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 game world in a different you know uh, uh, fashion and and I can actually be who I want to be each time I play excellent um, so we should provide a little bit of background just a reminder yeah. that this is a third-person uh, action-adventure uh, game is that correct action adventure is that the right word third-person action-adventure survival game right I forgot yeah. about the survival element yes and you have to attach open world in front of it also I guess right yes. Uh, so it's set in, uh, it is set in, in Africa 10 million years ago, at least at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to explore your environment, you have to expand your clan, and eventually you have to evolve your species. Okay. So is that the end goal of the game is to evolve your species? Yeah, or? Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And eventually leave Africa. Oh, okay. Very but cool. in, 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 in the fashion that you want, as yeah. you know, there's <laughs> like... Uh, this, this like, it's not going through the act, the the actual way we evolve. It depends on how you play. Okay. It depends on the choices you make. And there's still kind of like events. Like I know, I think we had talked before, or you had talked in presentations about like, I, I think like discovering fire. Or is that correct? Am I getting? I might be completely off on that. But like events like that happen throughout the game to like progress your character. <laughs> Well, f fire, no, n no fire in volume okay. one, because we, I, okay. I wrote three volumes. Okay. But volumes are, are, are big again. It's not like, a, <laughs> it's not, it's not an episode. It's like, yeah. and, and, and fire is not in, in volume one. So we, we start 10 million years ago and uh, up until 1 million years. So basically you start as the last common ancestors of all the big apes. Okay. And then the way you play and you finish basically as an uh, Australopithecus, so Lucy, basically. Oh, yeah. And uh, and then eventually we'll, we'll make the rest. <laughs> but it, it's not about starting 10 million years ago and finishing in Times Square with a gun, <laughs> right? It's, th this is not our game. It's really about prehistorical uh, 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 setting. Got it. Okay, so maybe you can elaborate a little bit more on the survival aspect. I know in some of the footage we watch, um, the one of the clips involved kind of escaping from a tiger uh, that was attacking, or kind of prehistoric tiger, <laughs> possibly. Um, and how hard do you have to work to kind of like um, survive in the game? Do you have like health meters and thirst meters, or how much into the survival does this go? Well, you have to to eat, drink, and sleep. Okay. You have to eventually mate. You have to grow your clan in size and numbers, right? Like it really, uh, and then you have to evolve through a kind of like an RPG tree of like. But again, it's at your own pace, and, and it depends on how you play. Okay. And, and so basically, I'm asking the players. I, I remember when we talked, it was more about I want you to relive the key moments. Yep. And this time it was like I went like ah that's boring. Okay. <laughs> I went into like the the key elements are in the game, everything is in there. But then I'm asking the players that question about, hey, Homo sapiens, you, can you survive what your ancestors went through? Do yeah. you think you're intelligent enough? Do are you curious enough? And then, and then and and then just try because I won't help you out. Okay. Okay, it's really the the narrative is, is is driven by the player, and it's it's like, and I'm not taking the player by the end whatsoever. But yes, there's HUD, right? There's a HUD. Yeah. I play without it these days. Okay. And it sh you should also play without the HUD because the okay. character is the HUD. Yeah. The character is telling you everything, and yes, you have to escape. So you, for sure, you'll start the game much more as a prey. But then you evolve into that predator yeah. that we are right now, that we control everything and we have yeah. like 
We're not afraid of anything except yeah. like our own internal fears that we got. <laughs> we're not we're not afraid of the the leopard anymore. Yeah, it's but Times Square with the gun. <laughs> exactly. But right now, in the game though, there is predators. So yes, you have to to avoid them as uh, at all costs, and you die a lot. Okay. <laughs> with some kind of like permadeath stuff. Oh, interesting. So it's your clan, you play with your clan. So does that mean you kind of like assume? Like someone else in your clan's like character once you die or something like that, or? something like that. Maybe I don't want to say. I don't want to spoil anything. Like these days, the way I feel like, and and I, I I even feel like I say too much right now. But <laughs> no, but I feel like Sorry. the game is the talking. It's, it's not this. Right? I want you to experience it and and, and be in this in this world and, and and try to survive. And if I explain everything, ah. Oh, then you'll follow, and it's boring. Yeah. <laughs> I feel. Anyway. Yeah, totally fair. Okay, one last question about ancestors then. Um, so, uh, for you know, you last two big games you worked on or franchises, Assassin's Creed, Prince of Persia, um, Sands of Time. Like the big thing was the rewind mechanic, like kind of like this aha moment or kind of like this thing where oh, nobody's really doing this and it's cool. And Assassin's Creed, maybe it was. I want to say like the idea of like you can climb anything and like you can point to somewhere and be like I want to go there and I was wondering if you have something similar like maybe gameplay wise or maybe it could be narrative wise um, for ancestors where it was kind of like an aha like or kind of central linchpin for the for the game. Well, uh, I, I said it. It's my it's it's you who wrote yeah. the story <laughs> this time. No, no, but yeah. in sense of time, really straightforward. Somehow, right? It's like a linear game. You go through the story rewrote. Yep. You're, you're, you're as good as me as Sense of Time, because that was how it, it worked. It was all about finding how to get out of this room. This is a, this, this is a Prince of Persia game. And so it was all about you enter one on, in, on one door and yep. does the exit somewhere, find the path, right? That was really linear. Uh, follow it with uh, Assassin's Creed where the, the player has a little bit more freedom yeah. but still there's a story really focused that are narratively driven <laughs> people liked yeah. it fine this time I went even further it's like no I, I, the story is there it's hidden it's like but you're the writer the, 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 the players will be writing stories and events and adventures as they try to evolve, okay. like, like, uh, I'll give you an example. Okay. Often I will just leave my clan behind me and just go. With the. And the other day it happened to me, and I was for two hours. I played, explored, and then I died. I died. It, it's still me. You can yeah. die. Mm -hmm. And I, I came back to the clan. Not, not 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 the character, but me, the player, and then there was the, the there was my my mate who was still there and said, "Oh, I just wrote the story of that guy who, who get out of his house to buy a pack of cigarette and he never comes back, <laughs> right?" <I know. laughs> and that was the story I just wrote without even me real, realizing oh, that no. I was doing that. Or the other day I was I was uh, playing only with uh, an elder because you. Time is a, is a thing in the game. Okay. Time passes. Yeah, it's important, and so you can eventually play as an elder. Okay. And 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 the, I was this this elder uh, a female character. Yeah. And she was the leader of the of the group, and because I decided, and so I was telling the story of that. Yeah. Or the story when you meet with the elephants, or the story. So each time you play, what you're gonna live is the story you're writing. And so that's the, 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 the it's, it's, it's really the game where I gave the player the most freedom. Okay. So that's the thing this time. And so for people like you has like a YouTube channel, people on Twitch, each night they do something, say, okay, what are we going to do tonight? Okay. Let's write a story. Got so it. that's the thing. That's the key thing that we discover while making it. Mm. Going through the evolution of men on this planet, yeah. it was about choices. It was about freedom. It was about, like I said, exploring. So that's in the game. And that's our key thing this time. 
Awesome. Okay, great. Um, so as far as uh, when fans might be able to see more of Ancestors and or if you have any ideas about closing in on a release date, uh, do you have any thoughts on any of that that you can share? Uh, no. Okay. No dates. Like, uh, right now we're closing, uh, we're, close, uh, we're close from being alpha. Okay. Fully alpha. Mm -hmm. That's where we're at. And we, we, you'll see footage soon. Okay. I don't know when this is going to be. Is it this week? Yeah, sometime this week. Yeah. So it'll be soon. Okay. Awesome. Great. Well, we'll definitely look forward to that. Um, before we leave, I wanted to really touch really, touch really quick on 1666. First, I just want to say, uh, you know, since the last time we talked, congratulations on getting the rights back to it. I'm oh, sure that... It yet? No, not no, back I in... Was, uh, I, was I was still doing the... Oh, okay. Yeah, you're still so, in the yeah, middle of that in 2015. <laughs> yeah, so. I got it back. So you got the rights back, um, and you showed off uh, kind of like a... Um, gameplay yeah. teaser at uh, the, I believe it's the reboot conference. I'm not yes, sure. It's the one that you go to every year, yeah, and yeah. yeah. Um, and I was wondering, just really quick, if you had an update on plans for 1666. You know, like after Ancestors comes out, are you planning on? Do you think you'll do more Ancestors or move to 1666? You know, that all, that that all depends on on the success of Ancestors, I guess, okay. right? <laughs> Fair enough. If it's like this crazy thing, and it's like, okay, let's bang already on Ancestors too. It's it's ready somehow. We like the research is done. It's written roughly. We know where we're heading with it. But I know people also would like me to do 1666, which I I, I haven't fought for it for for no reason. I want to make yeah. that game eventually. Yeah. And so and these days, uh, that's what I, I I told my team is like, oh. You know what, guys? Now that we have our ape, we can do 1666 because basically it's an ape. It's an yeah. ape. <laughs> it's an ape with a cape. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, I had one last request about 1666. So I think on YouTube there's kind of shaky cam footage of uh, like off-screen yeah. footage of it. Are you guys going to ever release like the direct feed footage so we can have it in actual like as it was intended to be seen quality? I, if we actually eventually I, I like the fact that it's bootleg by the way okay. I like it I like it <laughs> and also because of the rights of the song yeah it's a, like Jacques Brel song I don't have the right but since it was an academic and somebody was filming it I'm okay got it got it okay but you know what I would like to do eventually is to, is to redo that okay. with the new technology yeah. And make it really fucking awesome. That that would be my because yeah, it's like five years old at this point, probably ish. Yeah, six. Not done on Unreal, which are which is the tech I'm using right now, and just let's and then put it full screen, 4K, whatever you know, the big thing. So that that would be my dream. But now we're talking, we're just talking. Like there's no, <laughs> no one people every day telling me when, 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 right? Yeah. Okay, great. Well, I think that's uh, that'll wrap it up for us. I would want to say thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me and to the Assassin's Creed fan base. I know they always love hearing from you. And just want to wish you and everyone at Panache um, the best of luck in <laughs> pushing through the rigors of game development in your <laughs> first game. I'm excited for it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's always a pleasure. I like uh, It's part of the job, and I like it. To, to, <laughs> no, but to talk with the fans and to talk to people who are passionate about, about what, the, what I'm trying to do with my teams. Thank you. All right, so you can follow uh, Patrice on Twitter. Uh, he's at, pa at Patrice Des. We'll put a link in the video description. You can follow me at Loomer979. And until next time, see you later.